Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. From what we have here, we take the log on both sides. At this here, we have log 9 raised to the power x equals to log 60 from here. Then here, yeah, this follows. Then we have log m raised to the power p. It is the same thing as p log m. But this here, yeah, all we have becomes x log 9 equals to log 60 from here. The next step, we divide both sides by log 9. That is, divide this side by log 9. Also, divide this side by log 9, which implies that log 9 cancel each other. And we have x equals to log 60 over log 9. The next step here, we write 60 as 3 times 20. That is, all we have here becomes x equals to log 3 times 20 over log 9. Then this here follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this is the same thing as log a plus log b. Then what we have here becomes x equals to log 3 plus log 20 over log 9. Then here, yeah, we separate this into two fractions. At this here, we have x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 20 over log 9. Then, also here, we can write 20 as 4 times 5. Then what we have becomes x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 times 5 over log 9. Then yeah, this follow the law of logarithm as well. Then what we have becomes x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 plus log 5 over log 9. Then here yeah, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9 plus log 5 over log 9. Then here, yeah, we can write 9 as 3 times 3. That's 3 squared. And also 4. That's 2 times 2. That's 2 squared. Then what we have here becomes x equals to log 3 over log 3 squared plus log 2 squared over log 3 squared plus log 5 over log 3 squared. Then from here, we apply the power of logarithm. 2 comes here, also 2 comes here, also here, then from here, and we have x equals to log 3 over 2 log 3 plus 2 log 2 over 2 log 3 plus log 5 over 2 log 3. That is, here we have log 3 cancel each other. What we have becomes x equals to 1 over 2. Plus also here to cancel each other, we have log 
2 over log 3 plus also here we can write this as 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 3 then next step here we apply change of base when we have log a over log b this is the same thing as log a to base b but this here we have x equals to 1 over 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus also 1 over 2 log 5 base 3 then we can bring this together as one fraction here we have x equals to the same here that's 2 and here we have 1 plus this becomes 2 log 2 base 3 then plus log 5 base 3 that is the value of x here we have 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 is 3 all over 2 then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem that is we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 that is what we have here becomes 9 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 this is equals to 60 on this side then here you can write 9 has 3 square which is raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. This is equals to 60 on this side. Then here this power multiplies. 2 here cancel each other. We have 3 raised to the power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3. This is equals to 60 on this side. And this follows the law of indices. When we have a raised to the power m plus n, this same thing as a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n. This here we have 3 raised to the power 1 times 3 raised to the power 2 log 2 base 3 times 3 raised to the power log 5 base 3. This is equals to 60 on this side. And 3 raised to the power 1 here, that's 3 times. We divide this 2 from power log. That is, we have 3 raised to the power log 2 square base 3 times 3 raised to the power log 5 base 3. This is equals to 60 on this side. Then here yeah, we have 3 times 3 raised to the power log 2 square, that's 4 base 3. And 3 raised to the power log 5 base 3. This is equals to 60. On this side, then here, this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equal to b. As this arises as three times four, then times five, is equal to sixty from here. Then we have three times four, twelve, and twelve times five, that's sixty, which is equal to sixty on this side. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude here that x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video with a thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.